They're concerned by some, especially Silas, if you watch Shangun disappear late in some fourth quarters, as we've seen this year, is his defense. What do you think about it? I think it's it's matchup based. Um, his archetype, he's never going to be a guy you can just roll out for every type of team. It's going to be heavily dependent on who we're playing. But there's very few bigs in the NBA that, regardless of the context, they can be out there with your closing five, starting five. And you're talking about guys like Anthony Davis and those kind of unicorn type of players. Uh, we don't have anybody close to that right now on the roster. And Shangun is definitely not one of those guys. So for him, he's just like any other non-athletic big. You have to pick your matchups. If it's going to be a bang and bruise type of game with Embiid's and Jokic's and these bigger bodies, then yeah, that's his game. Let him get in there. He's pretty strong for a kid. He's going to get stronger. He's going to get smarter. With the things he brings on offense, then you kind of are okay with him being on the court. If we're playing a five-out team or the small ball Warriors or something like that, then I don't want Shangun out there because he becomes a liability, especially on those teams that run a lot of dribble handoffs and they do a lot of pick and rolls um, without focusing on the big man or or, or, the, or pick and rolls with the intention to pop or short, short roll, forces him to move his feet, then he gets into trouble. I think people have this view that it's all or nothing. And my perspective on the center situation is always, it's a matchup. There's some games... Bruno can play and close in a five, and there's some games that he can't, but it's not just like one size fits all. Yeah, his issues with fouls are my biggest pet peeve with him defensively. The foul trouble is also limiting his aggression defensively besides limiting his time on the court. Not only are the fouls bad defensively, they hurt you offensively because if you think about it, it allows the opponent, Frank, to set up their defense on the other end as well. Yeah, the fouling is definitely an issue, and it's uh, due to overcompensation. Um, trying to make up for some of the limitations that he has physically. But I think over time, as he gets more experience and understanding what guys are trying to do, he gets a memory bank of different players, then he'll learn not to foul. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.